Hi, I'm Tamara Lackey, and on this episode of Redefine Show for Adorama TV, I continue my discussion with Pulitzer Prize winning photojournalist and fellow Nikon ambassador, Deanne Fitzmorris, and we discuss the power of personal projects, something that comes up time and time again, and how they can even spawn some fantastic standalone companies, like the thoughtful gear company Think Tank that she co-founded with her husband. Check out this very cool origin story. So in 2008, I left my staff photographer position at the San Francisco Chronicle, and I waited till the depths of the recession okay. to walk away from a perfectly good job okay. where they were paying me, you know, good salary, yeah. benefits, a car, equipment. Who needs this? Who needs this? I'm going to walk away. I'm going to wait till the recession is in full gear, <laughs> then I'm going to bail. So I walked away, and mm -hmm. yeah, scary time to walk away, especially I was thinking, you know, I want to hit the magazines. I want to be a magazine photographer. All the magazines were cutting back at the mm -hmm. time. But what I did is I went out and started working on a personal project. A week after I left the Chronicle, it was, okay, um, same-sex marriage, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. There's going to be getting married in a week. I'm going to document this. So I did. I followed this couple. And a week later, I went to New York, meet with editors, and um, was showing the work. And Time Magazine says, great, we want to publish this. So, you know, it was just something that I initiated. So you I went out, initiated. you created it. Yep. And then, so do you actually um, reach out to the uh, magazine? And then, yes, okay. Yes, yep. And so I talk a lot um, about my work and it's so important the relationships I build with people you right. know and that's something that I had to figure out about you know do I engage do I not engage as a photojournalist right. once I got through that barrier I realized the value of, of building relationships with people that I photograph and how important it is and how how much deeper the story becomes right and also about relationships about people around the edges people that um, you know, they just help me um, get the access I need to get. That's a big part of it. But also relationships with editors that we meet at events and following through and being able to just contact an editor and say, hey, I have this story I just did on same-sex marriage. Are you interested in publishing it? Yeah, and they know you, they trust your work, they know that you can deliver. Yes, And yes. that just shortcuts so much. Right, and editors yeah. want to work with people that they know and people that they trust. Yeah. And so just to get that one-on-one -on -one with editors so that they know you and they know they can count on you. I, and I'm glad you bring that up because that reliability factor, I yes. think it's a bigger factor than most people would guess. Yep. Like they, it's just not worth the risk of right. an unknown that doesn't have that reliability factor. So exactly. being able to prove that again oh, and again yeah. Yeah. goes because a long way. Because you think about it, it's um, their jobs on the line yeah. too. You know, if they yeah. hire someone and they don't get the assignment right or Absolutely. don't deliver. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So when did um, when did Think Tank come about? Like, how? What was the origination? What's the origin story okay. of Think Tank? <laughs> okay. So it was 2005. 2005. When we started Pre the company. Pre-recession. That's okay. right. That's right. All right. And my husband and I, we were staff photographers at the San Francisco Papers, Chronicle, and Examiner. Mm -hmm. And we were you know, running around shooting assignments and just trying to figure out, you know, how do we carry our equipment? How do we get it on airplanes? And just all the challenges we yes. all have. Yes, yes. You know, so, um, so it started with your own challenges. Exactly. Because exactly. you were traveling so often yep, and shooting yep, so often. Yep. yep. And whether I was, you know, running up and down the sidelines of a 49ers game, right. figuring out, I can't carry a shoulder bag, I, but I need lenses. Okay, I need a, yeah. some kind of a belt system. And, you know, and then getting on airplanes and how do we do this? There's no way I'm going to chuck my bag. Right. I, well, yeah. You and I were talking like a year ago at the Nikon Ambassador Summit, or yeah. maybe that was like six months ago, <laughs> yeah, at the yeah. Nikon Ambassador Summit yeah. about the um, tr having to put your your bag up top. Oh yeah. And you have this amazing strategy for where you stand in line behind people, right? <laughs> what was it? There are so many tricks of the trade. And yeah, I mean this is crazy, but sometimes I'll have a really heavy case with me. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, I might be able to get this overhead, but I'm not certain. Right. So I will position myself in line behind a big guy sometimes. <laughs> And you know, and oh, just look, hope. they just happen to be here. Or better still, ahead of a big guy, right. because if you're behind, they could them, care, they could keep going. They could keep going. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so better still ahead, and, <laughs> and just go. Um, um. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, but you know, we're just trying to figure out the bags to do this. We just came out with the Airport Advantage, which is for commuter jets. I was just showing yes, it to you. Yes. And it's lightweight mm -hmm. and it's small enough that you can put it overhead in regional jets. So, right. Um, yeah, but the way we got things going, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, 
you know, sometimes it feels like it's the worst thing in the world. Something happens to you. And Kurt was, um, was really not connecting with his editors at the paper. And you know how sometimes that happens, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And he says, okay, I think I'm done with this newspaper thing. I'm going to start something new. Um, all these photographers are looking for a way to carry their gear in their trunks. Because you would run around and you would shoot maybe three assignments a day, two or three. And, you know, you jump in your car and your lenses are clanking around the, in the trunk. Right, Going right, around right. corners, clank, clank, clank. And we're just trying to figure out something. And Kurt had always said, oh, if we could come up with this organizer for the trunk. Right. So he went ahead and he designed one. Yeah. But he was really thinking, I don't want to do this newspaper thing anymore because, right. you know, because yeah. it's like, you know, sometimes you're just forced into doing this thing. Yes. And so he designed this thing and gave it to all the photographers at both papers. And we said, okay, you know, this is great, but now what next? He said, I have to figure out how to market this. So we ended up going to a trade show and uh, ran into somebody who um, actually became um, Think Tank. Okay. Yeah, so, um, so it's really two photographers, Kurt and myself, yeah. um, teamed up with two bag designers, Doug okay. Murdoch and, and um, Mike Sturm. And, you know, they know how to design, they know how to manufacture, and we come up with all the problems. Yeah. We're like, you know, the whiny photographers. Right, 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 yeah. Say, hey, I need this now, I need right. that. And so it's been a great collaboration, and we have an amazing team. And so now we have 20 people on the team, and we have probably 250 different bags. Yeah, now. and it's a beloved brand. It yeah, really is. Yeah. Like photographers feel like they can count on it. Back yeah. to counting on something. But you know what I mean? <laughs> right. The dependability right. factor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that was yeah. obviously part of the uh, drive there too, was right, creating right. a really good quality yeah, product. Yeah, exactly. I think people um, respect the company because the bags, you know, designed by photographers and also just about the quality and the customer service. And yeah. So it's been really great how it's been embraced by our community. But, you know, I was trying to figure it out and I was trying to bring the best things forward. Thank you so much, Deanne, for your time and for creating such cool products. Check us out here next time on Adorama TV. And do not forget, if you subscribe to Adorama TV, you will automatically be checking out all kinds of great products and gear reviews and tutorials and wonderful discussions like this.